Since six tonight, government, business, and labor coming together with the goal of creating jobs. The night team's Andy Choi joins us with details on the Edgewater's development's latest plans. Andy. Eric, the city of Madison, the Hamas Company, and the Building Trades Council of South Central Wisconsin are coming together for what they call a community development program. And while roadblocks still remain for the new Edgewater, workers are optimistic for the future. We're excited about the potential of this win, win, win project and are anxious to get the work on the initiatives produced by it. Through good times and bad, these union workers stand together and they're hoping they're standing on the cusp of opportunity just outside the Edgewater Hotel. A lot of people are looking forward to this project. This is kind of what, uh, I guess this is a little light at a long tunnel that we're seeing. So. Uh, this project, we need to get it going as soon as possible. Corey McGovern with Local 464 says more than 10% of his 2,000 member union are without work. A lot of them are struggling with their health care and pensions are suffering and you know, unemployment's running out, losing their homes. So we're a project of this magnitude would be just incredible right now. The jobs are needed now and unfortunately uh, given what we've seen about the economy over the last several months, it looks like those jobs are going to be needed over the course of the next two or three years. That's what this project's about. That's why it's so important. Even with a few obstacles in the way, project developers are hopeful that new work on the Edgewater is just on the horizon. We'd like to be in the ground in the spring of next year, but I think we'll see by the end of this year that we'll have one and only one issue standing in our way, and that'll be a lawsuit that's keeping literally hundreds of people from going back to work. And that lawsuit stems from two residents questioning the city's approval of the redevelopment. Also ahead will be the securing of TIF funding by changing the TIF district to include the Edgewater. This would then allow the city to loan $16 million to Hamas. Developers are optimistic both issues will find resolutions by the end of the year. The night team's Andy Choi reporting. Andy, thanks a lot.